What is going on, people? Today, uh, we got a bargain store. Also, no camera on this one. Uh, I'm doing something with the camera, so uh, not f not now. Don't worry, though. Uh, my face is not that cute. So, we got a new bargain store, and um, there's a lot of there's a lot of good things. Now, there is nothing new per se that we haven't seen before, but the good news is is that there's probably something for everybody here. Now, for me, there is actually quite a bit that I don't need, um, like the packs, these items, etc. But let's go ahead and first of all start with the crimson chest. So, as you can tell, we can get 5 every day for 10,000 gems. Okay, it's not necessarily 10,000 gems, but I don't know why they made it 9999, but whatever. Maybe they like Final Fantasy. Either way, um, this basically gives you one chest that'll drop one main, and it can either be common all the way to legendary. Now, let's be honest here. The chances of you probably pulling a legendary is slim to none, and you're more than likely, I would say probably like 60%, uh, we'll probably drop a common and then in a slight chance you might get a green might get a blue Maybe a purple, but let's be honest um, This is this is pretty much for the people that are going for the champion gear are building it are buying the packs and usually With buying those packs you get a decent amount of gems So if you are going for champion, this is probably something that you want to invest in 50,000 gems for a shot a pretty good decent mains. I would say yes I would recommend this if you are building champion. If you are not, then obviously this is going to be a hard pass. But because I am, I am going to go ahead and buy this. So rip 50,000 gems. Goodbye. Uh, I will be opening it today just to give you guys an idea of what to expect. Hint, hint, bunch of comments. Um, then, of course, we have the Devil's Cap. I have 11. One costs almost 9,000 gems. For me, I would say that I don't need it because usually if I do have to use a doubles cap, I only really got to use one. But because I have a decent amount of gems and this is something that I'm going to need in the future regardless, I might as well go ahead and buy it. But again, if you're not one to be capped all the time or you don't need a bunch of rallies or anything like that, then I would probably pass on this one too. Now, we get to the good part. The Gargantua, Blackwing, and Bon Appetit packed. Now you get times two, and you can buy four each day. So that means that you can get eight of each one every single day. With a grand total of 24 of each. Math. I think I did the math right anyway. Maybe I didn't. Either way. Um, if you are still working on your tier five familiars, and they are not done, this is a must. Uh, granted, if you have the gems either way, but... Yes, this is something that you for sure want to get, and uh, it's going to be huge, because let me tell you, Tier 5 Familiars change the game when you get them. Your damage will go through the roof, and all of that good stuff. So, if you're still working on it, get them. Do not pass up on this. I must. But for me, since I have already finished them all up, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pass on this, uh, save me some gems because, yeah, I'm going to need it for all these items over here. Alright, now, next, we have the Jade Orb, Terror Thorn Seed, and the Gargantua Eye. Now, this, for a blue, only costing 2,800 gems? Honestly, I feel like this is a steal. Especially the Jade Orb. Because, let's be fair. The, the Gargantua Eye is fairly common, and out of all of those three, that's probably the more common of the three. But the Seed and the Orb are usually not that easy to come across. So, yeah, I would absolutely get this, because by the end of this, you're probably walking out with a gold, if I, if I do the, the uh, math correctly. Because you get a purple and a half every day. So by the end of this, you'll, you'll, be, walking out with, uh, you'll be walking out with a gold of each, if you buy them all. Now... If you're already done with, say, like, Gargantua Eye, then obviously skip it, unless you're still working on an item and uh, save your gems. But if you still need one of these, these are a must. Don't skip them. I will, because I don't need them. But here we get to the uh, the thing that probably most people still need. Let me, let me help you out, okay? Mystic Carpet. You can buy six every day, and these are the 50%. Listen, if you're in a guild that does anything KVK related, uh, war related, 
Wonder Wars, Baron, Emperor, etc. The Mystic Carpet are a must-buy. Also, don't forget that if you have alts that have a decent amount of gems, remember that you can buy these carpets on your alts, and whenever you may need carpets, you can just bring in your alt for that rally and use those carpets then. So make sure that you let your guild know, especially if you're very war-related, if you have an alt that can spare these gems to get carpets and you can kind of like funnel them in for whether it's kvk and you want to get fury targets wonder battles etc make use of those gems on alts and buy mystic carpets too uh it's going to be 34 well let's just say 35,000 every day so we're talking a hundred thousand gems now of course not every alt is going to have that amount of gems just chilling but i know that some of you do because i do and uh i'm gonna be i'm gonna be for sure buying these carpets and whether it's an alt or a main etc if you are in a war guild i feel like mystic carpet is something that you should probably invest in not for yourself specifically but for your guild now star scroll times 10 uh and you can get three so basically you're going to be getting 30 scrolls per day and since this is what three day event you're going to be basically getting 90 and uh, in total you're looking at 45,000 gems so 45,000 gems for 90 scrolls especially if you're working on stars like i am uh, i would say that this is a good value now if taking up your stars etc it's not something that you are absolutely uh, doing right now this is something that you can skip if you're trying to uh, save your gems or you just don't have that many gems and you have to pick specific things i would say the star scroll is it's of high priority if you are working on your stars, but if not, it's probably going to be at the bottom. So it's it's going to be one it's one of those weird items that's like it's either a really good one or one that you can go without, just depending on where you're at and where uh, or what you want to do with your account. Uh, now, legendary chest, ember, uh, you get six and you get times three, so technically you're getting eighteen every day. Now this one, I must admit. I must admit, I might, I might actually not get these. Why do I say that? Okay, take a look at this, right? You get all six. You're going to be looking at 18 chests, right? For about 30,000 gems. But um, if you take a look at the pack, right? Right here. Here, you get 25 chests plus 25 Blazing Embers for $5. So it's like, uh, do you want to spend 30,000 gems, actually a little bit more, or would you rather just spend the $5? Like, what has better value for you? For me, uh, since, since right now, I don't necessarily need more. I'll show you where I'm at right now. Um, I'm at 42. I think I'm going to go ahead and skip it. Um, but... If this is something that you can't just go out and buy, like if you're free to play or you don't pay much um, and you're still trying to take up some gear to Mythic, then this will be a good bargain for you. Get it? <laughs> bargain store? Either way, uh, this is going to be pretty good. But I, again, I don't think that this is some of the best value in this bargain store. This is going to be like one of those luxury items that you can do without unless you don't have much other ways of getting it. Uh, like I mentioned, if you're free to play or something then this becomes a little bit more valuable but you know just know that you can buy a five dollar pack and get even more than this is going to give you and you can save the thirty thousand gems not only that it it comes with gems at that so yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and skip this because i don't necessarily need it but again if you need it go for it the uh experience elixir i'm at a point where i have 314 of these so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and completely skip this uh, but again, you get 7, and it's actually times 5. Always keep that in mind. You're not getting 7. Like, when you go like this, you're not getting 7, technically. Um, what you are going to be getting is actually 35. Because it is experience elixirs times 5, and then you get 7 of those. So, keep that in mind. You're not, you're not paying all that just for 7. Uh, but for me, this is not something that I worked on. Uh, I did a while ago, but now I'm to the point where I don't really need any familiar taken up. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this alone. And then we get to the last one, the Wolfpack Sigil. Now, again, this is only for Wonder Rallies. So 
I would say um, unless you are uh, like in some sort of war gear or you plan on joining a war guild, etc., this is probably going to be uh, of little importance to you. But again, if you are in a war guild, wolf pack sigils are a necessity, especially if you're trying to join one because they will check how many sigils do you have, you know, what are you bringing to the team, and a wolf pack sigils, a decent amount, will go a long way. And this will go ahead and give you 30. Uh, which I believe gives, gives you at least a blue, uh, so it'll, it will be nice. Now, I'm going to get them just because I'm still working my way to getting uh, some better sigils, so I'm going to get it, and uh, if you are in a war guild, I would suggest that you keep working on these wolf pack sigils because the more you unlock, the more that you add, the more that you're going to be helping your guild. So, to recap, wolf pack sigils, mystic carpets, Get it for your guild if you are a in a, in a war-related guild. Everything else, you kind of have to just weigh the pros and cons, especially if you're limited on gems, which item it is that you need the most, and then go from there. For me, it seems pretty clear that for me, the daily, the daily buys is going to be the Crimson Chest, the Devil's Cap, the Mystic Carpets, the Star Scrolls, and then the Wolfpack Sigils. All in all, I believe that's almost, what? like 145,000 gems every day and obviously not everybody's going to be able to afford that so if like i said if you are kind of working on your gems and you don't have that many gems it's time to uh, make a decision and see what it is that you're going to be buying from this uh bargain store but okay let me go ahead and see what we actually opened uh, or what we got so we got the crimson chest. Let me uh, go ahead and the silver labor thing. The five crimson chest. Again, you can get from a common all the way up to legendary, and you only get five chests per day. So, what are my chances of getting a gold? <laughs> Probably like a. What is the actual chance? Like a zero point zero point four percent or something like that. It's bad. It's a. It's bad. Uh. So let's see. Five commons. Anybody? Hey, y'all, wait a minute. A rare? Two uncommons and two commons. You know what? For 50,000 gems, that ain't bad, man. That is not bad. And I can go ahead and do this two more times. Hope for the best. You know what? This will help me in my... um. Yeah, in my pursuit of, fi of finishing my accessory. Okay, you know what? That's not bad. Uh, I would love to know. Oh, we got another subscriber. Welcome. If you're not subscribed and you're watching the channel right now, what are you doing, baby? Hit the subscribe button. Either way, let me know what you guys are getting in this crimson chest because I know that most of you are going to be getting it just because you guys want to give a shot. That slot machine mentality. Let me know what you guys are getting. Did anybody get a gold? And if so, I want proof. I want screenshots. Either way, appreciate you guys for watching. And until later, bye.